My name is Alana Aisa. I am a transgender woman and I'm also one of the board members for Micro Rainbow, a social enterprise that provides safe housing for LGBTI asylum seekers and refugees in the UK. And I'm also a refugee myself. As you might know, every year on the 20th of November is Transgender Day of Remembrance. This is a day where we raise public awareness of hate crimes against transgender people and we publicly mourn and honour the lives of transgender people that has been taken away too soon. As a refugee myself, I fled a country where it's dangerous to be transgender and I know how scary it is to fear for your life. So this day is a very emotional day for me. Unfortunately, since I left my home country, the killings of transgender people back home did not stop. It's even worse in the US where the murder statistics for this year already surpassed the murder statistic for last year. And in Central and South America, we're witnessing from afar the killings of trans women almost on the daily, if not weekly. And sadly, this is nothing new for me. And while I am sitting here comfortably in my room in the UK, I'm thinking of how lucky and privileged I am to be here, to have escaped because many others didn't. So I hope my voice on this platform will raise awareness of the prevalence of the killing of transgender people across the world because it is up to us now to remember the disease because they cannot speak for themselves anymore. And since they are killers, law enforcement and the media seek to continuously erase our existence. We need to speak up now even more than ever.